Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute full body session using the resistance band. Now the band is just an option. So if you don't want to use it today or you don't have one, that's absolutely fine. You can still do this whole thing just using your in body weight. However, adding in the resistance band is just going to give us that little extra burn. So whenever you're ready, meet me in the middle of your mat and we will get started. So coming down into a seated position in the middle of your mat, just popping the band to one side for a second, really lengthening through the crown of the head, nice tall spine, hands rested down on your knees, and then we'll start by closing down the eyes. So taking a few deep breaths, so inhaling through the nose, and then exhaling out through the mouth. So it's like you're blowing out through a straw. Inhale through the nose, feeling the rib cage expand out to the side. And then as you exhale, draw the ribs down towards the hips, closing that gap. Again, inhale, breathing in through the nose. And then as you exhale out, draw the ribs down to the hips, start to connect into your core by drawing your belly button back towards your spine. And going at that at your own pace, so as you inhale, you breathe in through the nose, feeling the rib cage expand. And then as you exhale, breathing out through the mouth, drawing the ribs down to the hips, belly button back towards your spine. So going at your own pace here, starting to connect the mind to the body as well as connecting the breath to the body being really mindful about how we are in this moment using the next 20 minutes to be mindful about our movement mindful about our breath focusing in on our mental health our physical health We're gonna get stronger, we're getting longer. And just spending the next 20 minutes focusing on yourself, not worrying about anything that's happened before this class or anything that's gonna happen after this class. Just spending that time with your mind, with your body and with your breath. And then when you're ready, slowly start to open the eyes we're gonna start with the band on. So I want you to pop that band around your knees and then come onto your back for me. So laying all the way down, hands overhead, legs are extending away from your center, squeezing the heels in. We're gonna start with the roll up. So squeezing those heels together, squeezing the inner thighs. If you haven't done this before, you can watch for the first one. Or if you've done this before, you can come with me. So squeezing those heels together, as I've just said about three times, taking an inhale, exhale, squeezing the inner thighs, using the strength of your core to bring yourself up, stretching over the backs of the legs. This one should feel really nice to start off with, making sure that those shoulder blades are down into your back, drawing into your center, and then really slowly rolling yourself all the way back down, not using momentum. Again, inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, slowly rolling yourself up one vertebra at a time, stretching over the legs, pointing through the toes, and then really slowly rolling yourself all the way back down. Last one, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the heels together, squeezing those inner thighs, using the strength of your core to bring yourself up, and then really slowly roll yourself all the way back down, good work. Hogging the knees in for a second, rocking the spine from side to side, just massaging out the tailbone, and then imprinting the lower back into the mat. You're gonna float your legs into tabletop, really making sure that you're drawing into your lower abdominals, drawing that lower back into the mat. Hands come behind your head, take an inhale to prepare, Exhale, you're gonna curl yourself up, just stay here. From here, you're gonna tap your right toe down to the mat, 
lift, left toe taps down. So you're giving me toe taps. If this is ever too much on your neck, you can lower the head down, hands come down by your side. Or option is to keep the head lifted. Just going deeper into those abs by having the head, neck and shoulders lifted off the mat. So we're starting off with the core. We will then go into some glute work, some upper body work. We really are going to work for body today. Only 20 minutes. Nice, short, sharp, but effective workout. So make sure to give it your all today, whether you are using the resistance band or not. Elbows are really nice and wide. Try not to pull on your neck. Last one each side. And then hold the legs lifted. From here, you're just going to extend that right leg away. Draw it back in. And then left leg draws away. Bring it back in. My band is moving around already. So if you need to fix that band at any point, you can. Making sure that lower back is staying into the mat. I say this all the time. When we are doing anything in tabletop for the core, you're just helping to protect your lower spine, but you're also getting deep into those inside abdominal muscles. So not the ones you can see, but really strengthening through our entire core. So not only our abs, but also strengthening around our spine. Last one each side. And then hug it in, reset, just rock from side to side. Good work. Okay, from here, again, hands come behind the head, curling yourself up, legs stay in tabletop. Squeezing those heels together. We're gonna to go into double toe taps now. So you're gonna tap both toes down, lift and squeeze. So you inhale down, exhale to pull it back in. If this is too much, you don't have to tap the toe all the way down, or again, you can lower the head down and just go with the legs. Whichever option and whatever modifications you need to do today, this is your workout. Make it work for you. Four more here. You can do it for three, two, last one. Hold it there. From here, you're just going to flare the knees out to the side. Bring them back in. So you inhale out, exhale to pull it back in. I'm just gonna flip myself around slightly so you can see. So you open the knees out to the side and bring them back in. So inhale to open, exhale, pull it back in, really drawing into those lower abdominals. Inhale out, exhale to pull it back in. Just five more here. Drawing that belly bone back towards the spine. I've forgotten what number we were on. Hopefully that's last three two last one hold the knees together squeeze the heels together you're going to slightly flare out through the toes so flexing through the feet from here you're going to extend the legs squeeze those heels together draw back in so inhale out exhale slight tuck of the tailbone as you come back in inhale out exhale double back in six more for five, four, draw that belly button to your spine. For three, squeeze those heels together. For two, last one, you can do it. And hug it in, good work, rock from side to side. From here, placing the feet down, hands down by your side. You're gonna roll the hips up into a shoulder bridge. I was gonna say glute bridge though. Shoulder bridge, rolling yourself up. Hips are nice and high. Try not to flare through that rib cage. So closing the gap between your ribs and your hips. And then slowly melting yourself all the way back down, one vertebra at a time, and release. And again, rolling yourself up. So tucking that tailbone under, one vertebra at a time, rolling yourself off the mat, squeezing the heels, or squeezing through the heels, should I say, to push yourself up into your shoulder bridge. 
legs are parallel, hip distance apart. And then from here, you're gonna float your right leg into tabletop, flexing through that foot, hips are nice and high. You're gonna tap that heel down and lift, lower down and lift. We're here for eight, seven, you can do it for six, keep it going. Last five, hips are nice and high for four, three, two, last one, hold that leg in tabletop, just give me tiny little lifts for eight, seven, six, yes guys, keep it going for four, three, two, one, hold it where it is, drop that foot down straight to the other side. So that left leg is coming up, flexing through that foot. You're gonna tap the left heel down and lift, lower down and lift, keeping those hips nice and high. You can do it, just five more. Try not to flare through the ribs for four, three, two, Last one, hold that leg in tabletop. Make sure you're not flowing through that rib cage. Tiny lifts up and up for eight, seven, six. Belly button back to your spine for four, three, two, one. Drop that foot down, keep the hips lifted. From here, you're gonna float onto your tiptoe. So floating those heels off the mat, lifting the hips even higher. We're gonna go into a mini combo here. So you're gonna drop the hips down lift flare the knees open bring them together lower down lift flare and in let's speed it up a little bit so you lower down lift flare and in lower lift flare and in so getting deep into the glutes now we're also working the hamstrings you're working the calves getting it all in, in one movement, <sighs> using your breath to help you, really squeezing the glutes at the top, slight tuck of the tailbone, keep it going, fatiguing that muscle, <sighs> try not to flare through the ribs, you can do it, three more here, for two, on this last one, just hold the legs out. You're just gonna flare the knees out to the side, so keep those hips nice and lifted. Just flare the knees out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly roll yourself all the way back down. Good work, hug those knees in. Rock yourself from side to side and then bring both knees over to the left, looking to your right, feeling that nice release through the spine, and then bringing the legs over to the right, looking to your left, and then back to centre. Okay, from here, you are going to bring the band around your feet, so hooking it round the arches of your feet and then bringing your legs into tabletop. Hands behind your head, lifting yourself up into an abdominal curl, lower back is staying into the mat. You're gonna extend that right leg away, hold it there. You're gonna bring your right elbow to your left knee, lower down, lift and lower. Really adding that resistance into the band here. Exhale as you lift. Inhale, lower down. Six more here. For five, getting into those obliques. For three, two, last one, hold it here. We're gonna go into bicycle, so keeping that resistance on the band the whole time, you switch knees and switch. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hug those knees in. Reset, we could do the same thing on the other side. So legs back into tabletop, hands behind the head, curling up into your abdominal curl. Left leg extends away this time. You bring your left elbow to your right knee, 
lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower down. Just seven more here. Not long left to go. Give it your all. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it here. Go back into those bicycles. So you switch and switch. Keeping that resistance on the band the whole time. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And hug it in. Okay, from here, bringing the band back around your knees. And we're going to flip on over into a plank position. So rock and roll the spine, coming into a plank position. We're going to go into another mini combo here. I'm actually going to flip myself round so that I don't hit the wall. So hands underneath your shoulders, stepping yourself out into a plank position. If you have sore wrists, you can come down onto your forearms. So mini combo, we, we step out four times. So you step out to the side for four, then you drop the knees down. Give me two tricep push-ups. That's your combo. And then you come back up. So you step the foot out four times, alternating each time. Drop the knees down, two tricep push-ups. And then up. If you do have sore wrists and this is too much, come down onto your forearms, back into that plank. So same thing here. And then you drop the knees down, you push up into a modified plank. Give me shoulder taps. And then you lower yourself back down. We go again. So wherever you are, whichever option is best for you, really holding that core in trying not to have the hips too high getting into the upper body as well as the core and the lower body keep it going not long left to go this is your last one so keep it going and then wherever you are open those knees nice and wide push back into a child's pose we have one last thing left and then you are done. So flipping back onto your back, band is staying around the knees. We are going to finish with the teaser. So band is around your knees, legs are extending away from you, hands overhead, squeezing those heels together, toes turned out slightly. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're going to tuck the chin to the chest, floating yourself up into your teaser, or if this is too much, I can't get myself up, you can come into a boat pose. So knees are bent, hands are down by your side. And then slowly roll yourself all the way back down. Two more like this. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, really slowly floating yourself up into your teaser. From here, you're going to give me three flares with that band. For three, two, one, and then really slowly roll yourself down. Last one, inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, really slowly floating yourself up. This time you give me five flares with that band. For five, four, three, two, one, hold. And then really slowly roll yourself down. Hug the knees in, take that band off. Pop it to one side. And then just rock the hips from side to side, massaging out the tailbone. Great work to everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this 20 minute full body session using the resistance band. From here, rock and roll your spine up to seated. Coming into a seated position in the middle of your mat lifting that right hand up dropping the left hand down coming into a nice very much needed side stretch making sure both sit bones 
a down on the mat and then lifting up left hand comes up and over again making sure both sit bones stay down on the mat open up through the chest and then come back to center we will finish class as always with one last deep breath together so sitting up really nice and tall shoulders are away from your ears take an inhale lifting the hands up overhead hands come together as you exhale bring the hands down through heart center and you are all done great work today everyone like i said i really hope you enjoyed this 20 minute full body session using the resistance band if you did don't forget to subscribe so that we can work out together again and if you are doing this as part of the january challenge i will see you on the mat again tomorrow <laughs>